Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mustaq Kunnur Academy. In this video, I will show how to simulate RC phase shift oscillator using op-amp. To simulate, I am using the Proteus software. First of all, let's look at the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram is as follows. It consists of an op-amp and the tank circuit which consists of three capacitor and two register and one register at input and we should also connect a variable register at the feedback and we should observe the output in the oscilloscope. We will get the sinusoidal wave at pin number 6. Let's simulate this using Proteus software. First of all click on component mode, click on P and here we have to type op amp. Here we have to select the 741, just double click on it. We also need register, type register here. Here you can see that the different types of registers appears in this list. We have to select generic register symbol, just double click on it. Once you double click, that is going to add in this list. We also need a capacitor, type capacitor here. The capacitor. Once we type capacitor, we have to select generic non-electrolytic capacitor, just double click on it. We also need a variable resistor, for that we have to type port HG, that is high, granular, high granularity interactive potentiometer, just double cl click on it, that is going to add in this list. Once we select all required components, click on OK. Now it's time to build a circuit, click on 741. And I will Y mirror it for the sake of convenience and use this capacitor in order to build that a tank circuit. I am using three capacitors here and make the connection. And we also need a resistor. will change its value the this value should be 0 0.01 microfarad the capacitor value should be 0 0.01 microfarad change the value of c2 here change the value of c3 here click ok likewise the register value should be of 1 kilo ohm. We need ground here. Go to terminal mode, select ground. We are done with this tank circuit. Now we have to connect the register at the input side. That is at pin number two. And one end of this capacitor should connect it to R three. Another end of this capacitor have to connect to pin number six. Let's change its value as given in circuit diagram that is it should be 1 kilo 1 kilo ohm click ok and we have to connect this ground here connect to pin number 3 now I will connect the port HG The very important point here is this variable terminal we have to connect to the feedback and this terminal we have to connect at the pin number 6 and change its value since its value is 1k 
I should make it as thousand k. Click OK, and we have to connect the power supply. Click terminal mode. change its value as minus 12 volt and make its value as plus 12 volt click ok here we are done with the circuit diagram now I will connect the oscilloscope go to virtual instrument mode select oscilloscope here connect this to pin number 6 that is at output we are done with this we are done with this circuit construction now it's time to run just run this once we run we should get a sinusoidal wave since the pot value is 1000k we have to change its value here we can see that we have to change the port value here we have two arrows that is one arrow for to reduce the value one arrow to increase the value of this port I will change its value Here you can see that once we change the value of the 1000k port, here we obtain the sinusoidal wave. I am changing the value of this port with the help of these buttons. Here you can see that we can also change its frequency and here we obtain the sinusoidal wave friends in this way we conduct rc phase shift oscillator using op amp friends in order to get these kind of very informative video please like and subscribe to our channel thank you